Hi, everyone. This is me talking. Yay. Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you one way to make a zine booklet. We'll call this the origami way since it's only folding and a little bit of tearing. You don't need glue or thread or anything like that. So I'm going to take a piece of paper. Any piece of paper will do. Uh, normally bigger, like 11 by 17, would be great. But since it's a pandemic, I don't want to force you to go shopping if you don't have to. So. If you've only got 8.5 by 11, that'll be fine. Although if you do have bigger, or if you are out anyway, then bigger would be better, but 8.5 by 11 would be okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half. Some people call it a hot dog fold because it's, uh, it's making it the long way. Um, so I'll just make as careful a fold in half as I can. Now, the sh folding with your fingers is fine. But the sharper you can make the fold, just the cleaner it'll be and the nicer your book will be. So in book binding, people use something called a bone folder, which uh, originally, and I guess still probably is, actually literally made out of animal bone. Um, these days, you can get a, a, a vegan, a Teflon bone folder, very nice. Or you could also use you know, a spoon or a quarter or anything you've got just to to go on the edge of that crease and just make it nice and crisp and sharp. You get a little bit nicer result that way. Okay, so now I'm going to fold it in half again. I guess we'll call this one a hamburger fold. And then I'm going to fold that in half one more time, like so. Okay, so now I'll open the whole thing up. Got a piece of paper with some folds. And now I'm going to take this sheet and fold it, not the hot dog way again, but the hamburger way. And what I want to do is cut. So here's, here it is. I folded it in half. And I want to cut this center bit. So these center two sections I'm going to cut. Uh, so it's going to be a cut that will go from here to here. And the two ends will stay closed. But the center section I'm going to cut. So you could just grab a pair of scissors and go snip. Uh, but you could also just tear it by hand. Either way is fine. So I'm just going to... Tear that, like, like so. So now I have a piece of paper that's got all my folds and the two ends are still closed, but I've cut that center line. So now I'm going to fold it in half hot dog wise again and push in to make this little box. And then I will just keep pushing and fold these two ends over and fold this last piece over. And I could go over that crease again if I like. Uh, and now I have a booklet. It's got a front cover, it's got a back cover, and it's got three spreads or six pages inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. I've got a book, and now I can get out my pencils, my colored pencils, my crayons, my markers, my paints, my pastels, whatever you've got, and write and draw and add whatever you'd like to your booklet. Happy zine making!